what we do, what differentiates us in the marketplace is we make snare drums and drum sets out of one ply solid shell drums. Um, so we're a very high end heirloom instrument company. Um, some would call it a boutique company these days. And uh, our instruments are of the utmost quality. And our dedication to carrying on Johnny Craviato's legacy um, is the most important thing that we're doing. I'd like to say first and foremost, Johnny had two partners always and their commitment to carrying on uh, his life's work and his leg legacy was, was paramount. Um, you know, when we were all devastated when we heard about Johnny, but the, the, you know, the, the next thought was, well, let's, let's keep going. You know, how do we move forward? Johnny was very particular uh, about his process and his craft. Um, you know, if you got a compliment from Johnny, you knew you did something really, really well. Um, you know, he, he was, um, he, his expectations were always very high um, and his standards were always very, very high. There is a certain soul and vibe to every Craviato drum. Every drum we make is different because each one is handmade. There's, um, everyone's going to respond and have its own personality, which is, I, I think, attractive to a lot of musicians. Um, it's their drum. You know, it's not going to sound like the next guy's. There's, each board is different. Um, so in all of our tooling, in all of our machines, there's a certain vibe about what we do. Um, our steamer box, for example, uh, thousands of, of wood boards have been steamed in that box. Um, you know, and Johnny built the box. And so there's, there's a certain lineage to that. You know, that, that's, there's a craviato sound that comes from that. Same with our, our, um, a lot of the machines that the guys use. A lot of these, you know, we have World War II era lays or Korean War era lays that we purchased at government auctions. But these, these machines have a certain personality and I think you can hear that in the instrument. This is not, you know, computer made mechanized stuff. A lot of this is hands on. The only computer in Craviato is actually in our office where we have uh, uh, our internet where we answer emails. So no, nothing is, not, no computers, no. I mean, we, we have calipers, of course, and, and ways to check uh, certain tolerances. Um, but a lot of it is, is our human beings doing the work. Nothing leaves here um, without being 100% perfect. I mean, we are very fastidious in, in the quality. We have to start and source the material. A lot of people don't understand, you know, we make everything. So it's important to realize we actually have to go to the source to, to find our materials. You know, we don't call up a supplier and get shells made and assemble. So we're actually going out to find the material at the source. And because we're solid shell, um, there, there, there can be no imperfections in the wood. So there's a lot more to it than just heading down to your local wood supplier or, or lumber yard. We're actually going to mills and searching out a specific grade and quality of material. Uh, I went out in April of 2018 and, and picked through about 25,000 board feet of maple, of which I came home with about uh, 6,000 board feet uh, in total. So typically we'll go to a mill and we'll go and have a supplier bring in a very specific requirement for us and then we'll go select the boards. Sometimes we come home with 20 boards, sometimes we come home with two boards. It just varies. So from there, We'll go and we'll have the wood um, resawn to our specs. And that means it, it gets uh, cut to specific thicknesses. And then if we're making larger drums like a bass drum or a floor tom, the, the wood gets book matched. So the top and the bottom match up. Um, and from there, we'll, we'll go through the scarfing process. We'll cut it to size. Uh, and the scarfing is what they call a scarf joint is where the shell is going to actually roll over kind of into itself to make a circle. Uh, from there, the wood will take a bath for a period of time, to, depending on the species. If it's maple, it's going to be shorter than if it's something very oily like teak or zebra wood or wenge, one of our private reserve exotics. They just take more time to soak because the board has to be saturated in order to, to steam bend. We need, we need moisture and we need heat for the bending process. Once they get rolled, that's actually the fastest part of the process. We steam it and it's, I mean, it's less than a minute. Take it right out, bend it around. Yep, right into the mold. Yep, my first visit out here, Johnny was rolling uh, and, and put on a big show for me and it's something I'll never forget. But I, I was amazed at how fast that process is, how physical it is. After a day of rolling, guys are absolutely exhausted. Then of course the shells have to dry. Um, and, and any solid shell, 
Um, when the shells come over, the scar scarf joints come over, they get glued at that point, so we glue them up. Um, we, restall, we install solid reinforcement rings in the top and the bottom. Um, they get trimmed to size on a lathe so that the, the, both the outside and the inside um, are to spec. And then, of course, we have our signature inlay, which has uh, kind of become a proprietary Craviato thing. Those get installed, then we uh, do our finishing process, which is oiling and sanding and uh, burnishing, polishing, doing the hot stamp, and then of course assembly and quality control. You know, start to finish, probably each drum is, is probably a little bit over a month. Craviato's differentiator is the solid shell. So whether the shell is a heritage shell or a private reserve, every shell is getting the same treatment, the same craftsmanship throughout the process. There's no difference. Uh, difference for us is in the wood species, uh, perhaps the grain of the species, like a very densely figured bird's eye maple versus a very plain maple where there's not a lot of figure to it. Um, and then hardware, of course. The other thing that we do is uh, to, you know, to, to stay kind of current uh, and innovative, we'll, we'll try new species. But, you know, it's interesting. I always say, you know, if you ask Johnny what, where you should start, he'd always say maple. He, he loved it, that was his favorite, it was in the middle, it could do everything. People will start there, they maybe started a heritage or a custom shop maple and then they, you know, they, they find where they want to go on the product line from there. Because once you get one, you can't stop. You, the people, we all keep going, you know, it, it's an addiction. But with Craviato, I feel like there's so much versatility in each drum, you can do a lot.